of my fellow deplorables, this is the 1%. And in today's episode of Unfiltered with the 1%, I'm going to go over a few topics with you today. The first one is this mass censorship of Donald J. Trump by the corrupt liberal media. First off, I want to go over what this meta AI thing has been going on saying, and this is something you can see, it's all over the news, but apparently Meta's AI, this is Facebook's AI, Facebook, Instagram, Oculus Quest, whatever it is, everything that's Meta Zuckerberg AI, apparently it's saying that Donald Trump's assassination attempt was all fake. It's all fictional never happened and the pictures depicting him you know saying fight 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 apparently you know apparently that's all faked forged zuckerberg doesn't even want us to know this stuff happened anymore because i guess his pal kamala harris is running for president he doesn't want donald to have any of this nice traction anymore even even though he came out and said it himself it was pretty badass and you can look that up yourself he did say that but again, we have mass censorship, and it's not just Facebook, it's all the other, you know, liberal media covering for Kamala Harris trying to get her elected in the office. I mean, you go to X, you go to Elon Musk's social media site, which is the actual real social media site you need to go to for your news. You don't go to CNN, you don't go to anything else. You go to X, and you get all of this, you get all the feeds that you're looking for. And again, you can go out and look at all the other sites just to see all the lies that they're saying. But again, X has all the feeds from everyone. It has everyone on there. I mean, you want CNN? It has CNN on there. Now, again, they're going to have community notes that tell you that they're lying, which is the benefit of having X. Again, But again, there's mass censorship of Donald Trump going on out there, and I just want everyone to know that. And again, uh, Zuckerberg's AI is even going on saying that the assassination attempt was fake. And in saying that the assassination att attempt was fake, it's spouting Kamala Harris' rhetoric by saying, you know, look at her campaign. So apparently they've updated it to say Kamala Harris is running for office, but they didn't update it to say that Donald, Ch Donald Trump was, you know, almost assassinated. Uh, but they did update it to say that it was fake. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, the next one I want to go over to is the Paris Olympics, you know, this cabal of pedophiles they have over there that are running this, these Olympics. You know, I think a lot of people have seen the opening ceremonies that they have over there, the, the LGBTQ friendly, the LGBTQ plus friendly, you know, opening ceremonies were had, you know, they were mocking Christianity, blatantly openly mocking Christianity. Um, and, and you saw that they saw the backlash from that. They saw the backlash everywhere, YouTube, X, everywhere. Uh, and they started censoring posts because instant backlash. People started dunking on them everywhere. Uh, but they started censoring it. They started taking down their own videos because they don't want anyone to see their satanic rituals on there. You know, because they're you know they're a pedo cult. The Olympic people are. And again, they're all. I mean, we see the elites nowadays. It, it, we're basically being run, and we're paying taxes to a group of pedophiles that are in office. We see people like Mr. Beast, he's, who's being bankrolled by the Chinese. One of his best friends is Chris Tyson, this, you know, again, this LGBTQ person, whatever they call this person. But again, it's Chris Tyson. We see they're being outed. Uh, they're uh, another groomer. Again, they're another pedo. But we see, again... We're being run by an elite group of this cabal, this liberal media, the, just the liberal side of this world. It's a cabal of just these nasty, nasty, bad people. And again, you can look more on, on this yourself. I'm just going over the general stuff of this, just the unfiltered side for me. And the last part I want to go over is this this news coming out of California of Gavin Newsom, who's finally cleaning up California, who's so far spent $1 billion cleaning up California. Have you seen pictures of California recently? It doesn't look very clean to me. It looks rather dirty to me. I mean, there's homeless people everywhere, illegal immigrants everywhere. People are shitting on streets. It does not look very clean. For a billion dollars, I would have thought they would have done a lot more. And I mean, they have history. I mean, whenever Xi Jinping from China came to visit Biden, they instantly cleaned up. I think it was San Francisco. I mean, overnight, they cleaned that place up. So I know they can do it. So what have they been doing with the billion dollars that they got before? 
know, I wonder if they've been money laundering it to the elite group of pedophiles in, you know, Hollywood, like they've been doing for, you know, maybe decades before. You know, it doesn't make much sense. Or maybe 10% went to the big guy again. I don't know. It doesn't make much sense to me. I mean, you can do some research yourself on that too, but again, it doesn't make much sense. I don't know how Gavin Newsom's going to clean up California. I mean, he's going to throw another billion dollars at his friends in Hollywood. I don't know. Uh, but again, this is unfiltered with the 1%. If you want to look up any of this stuff yourself, you can go ahead and look it up. Again, this is just me talking here. Uh, I'll see you later. Hello, deplorables.